Oh yeah! Welcome back, champs, for this character preview at 6-star bronze of Hall of Fame, Randy Savage. Let's take a look at his poster. He's a chaotic acrobat Hall of Fame, trainer all the way to 26k, powerhouse only, reduce opponent submission turns by 10, submission turns can't be reduced below 1, links, we have the Hall of Fame, any column move starts with 4 more move points, gears, there's 2 gears, the silver gear, uh, multiply gems generated from moves will increase the strength by 1, and the golden gear by 3. So let's take a look at a first build and again I'm not using any any gears now just I want to test this without any of his gears let's see how it goes so we have the diving double axe handle deals 99,144 damage and chooses a 7x1 area to swap into blue gems the pin bar will not move the running bionic elbow deals 100,361 damage and makes the bottom four rows into multiplied gems of strength three and the finisher the diving elbow drop oh yeah deals 246,036 damage and chooses a seven by three area to swap into yellow gems entourage for that build i'm going with um matt hardy showboat multiplied gems that generated from moves will increase their strength by two uh, of course, the Yellow MP Trainer, Kofi Kingston, uh, Coaches, Hall of Fame, Undertaker, Yellow Gems do 2200 more damage, and Braun Strowman, Yellow Gems do 20% more damage. Quick look at the strap, again I'm using uh, Double Fury 2, so a plus 80% on gem damage, and a skill plate, I'm using the dead man's sigil so whenever i break three or more black jams i'll make six random jams into x break jams let's see how it goes macho here against hall of fame hogan let's put it with the speed at 1.25 i'm ready let's go with the running bionic elbow Bottom four rows into multiply jams of strength five, thanks to Matt Hardy Showboat. Now let's go with the diving double axe handle, and the pin bar will not move. So I'm going to convert an entire row into blue jams. Let's take this one. Okay, so basically I can go with uh, my black swipe here. Oh, I'm going to get my X bricks. And let's see how it goes now. I'm going to go with the diving double axe handle. And try to... Uh, Break some uh, X breaks. See how it goes. Not so bad. All three moves ready again to uh, to hit. I'm ready again. <clears throat> There's more X breaks on the board, so that's good. More again. I can go over and over and over with that single plate here. If I can destroy three black gems, I'm okay. And again and again and again goes over and over and over I can just go with the finisher here and go and see how it goes and danger for Hall of Fame Hogan not even one turn for Hogan 
Wow. Macho Man Randy Savage without the gears. So we just saw now Macho Man Randy Savage Hall of Fame uh, kicking some ass without any gears. Now let's try it with the gears, same build with the same trainers and coaches. So I have both gears here, the silver one, uh, multiply gems generated from moves will increase their strength by one and the golden one increase their strength by three. So let's see how it goes again against Hall of Fame Hogan. So again, both yellows ready to hit. So, oh. so now with Matt Hardy, Showboat, and with both gears, by nine wow so each of those yellow gems are doing 253,000 plus damage that's pretty crazy and the blue gems 325,287 so let's go now with the diving double axe handle and again the pin bar will not move this will convert an entire row into blue gems. Wow, almost three million damage just just like that. Let's go with the black. So again I'm ready here. Go again with the running bionic elbow. And now I'm gonna play with my X brakes. Single plate. Amazing. Again, ready. I'm just gonna go with the finisher. I think it's enough. Almost 6 million here damage. So let's take a look at a second build, more defensive for Hall of Fame Randy Savage. We have the Diving Double Axe Handle, deals 99,144 damage and chooses a 7x1 area to swap into blue gems. The pin bar will not move. We have those defensive moves now. The 2 cool 2 hold, this move can only be used while pinned. So deals 389,998 damage and makes 40 random gems into snowfall gems which will modify all gems below it into blue gems when broken by you again this build showdown all over and the too hot to handle this move also can only be used while pinned deals 309,462 damage and deals 845,462 bleed damage to your opponents for three turns Let's take a look at the entourage for that belt. So we have again the yellow MP trainer um, Kofi Kingston. We have uh, the architect Seth Rollins. Moves that cause bleed will do 66% more bleed damage. Coaches Kyrie Sane. Moves that cause bleed will do 25% more bleed damage. And Snoop Dogg Hall of Fame. Blue gems doing 20% more damage. Why am I using uh, Snoop Dogg Hall of Fame instead of Santa Hogan? That gives you an extra 2200 more damage on any gems. Just because the 20% gives you almost 3400 more damage on each blue gems and not 2200. So again, as you can see on the right of your screen, the two hold to handle is uh, the bleed damage is doing 1.6 million for three turns so that's pretty awesome so 
defensive, this Macho Man is unbelievable. So let's go with the Diving Double Axe Handle again. To start with, let's load those uh, blue gems, uh, blue gems, blue moves. Okay, I can swap my yellow here. Let's do it again. My turn again. Of course, I still have the single plate on uh, Macho Man. So let's let's see the damage now. Come on, Hogan, pin, pin Macho Man. Let's hope I'm gonna get pinned. Here we go. Let's see how it goes with our defensive moves. So let's go first with the two cool two hold. And I'll go with the two hot to handle and then let's try to kick out Ooh. that was a little bit too hard that kick out let's go with the diving double axe handle again At least I have my X breaks on the board. Let's use it again. The pin bar is not moving. Hogan is still bleeding there. Only 1.5 million left there. Let's create more X breaks. Ooh. Now let's have fun. And it's all over for Hogan here. That's it. That single plate is amazing. And there you go. Hall of Fame Macho Man. Defensive built for showdown. So let's take a look at a third and final build for Hall of Fame Randy Savage. We have the Lariath takedown deals 264,384 damage and forces your opponents to skip their turn for one turn. We have the head pull hangman deals 119,109 damage and chooses two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gems. 
that will increase the strength of your multiply gems by two on every countdown turn and make 10 multiply gems into purple gems at the end of the countdown. And the submission, the chokehold, generates 24 random submission gems and do 184,131 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turns into multiply gems of strength three. Entourage for that build, we have the purple MP trainer Xavier Woods. I have Hall of Fame X-Pac, purple submission moves do 50% more damage per turn. Coaches, we have Peter Maivia, High Chief, purple submission moves do 50% more damage per turn, and purple submission moves last one more turn, and Shelton Benjamin, any color submission moves do 20% more damage per turn. So now, as you can see on your the right side of the screen, the submission is doing 400,000 plus damage for four turns. So I'm ready here, all three moves ready. Seven MP charge, six and six for the other two. So ready with perks and Xavier Woods. So let's go first with the skip turn. I mean, you can go with the juggernauts also. Here we go. And now the submission. So all three moves, turn one. As you can see now, multiply by 11, strength 11. So purple gems are doing 514,000 and blue gems 397,573. So let's see what where I can what I can do here. Let's go with the purple here. And then load all three again. Okay, that's not so bad. Now boom. Almost five million damage. I don't think he's gonna kick out. And that's it. Wow, one cycle. Randy Savage, Hall of Fame with both gears. Two thumbs up. So that's it, champs, for this character preview of Hall of Fame, Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah. Dig it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And don't forget that Benny is now live on Twitch. Until next time, Benny's out.